we're going to take a closer look at what these three symbols mean. Starting at the top, what we have here is a symbol that means greater than. And I'm going to write two numbers in here to show you how this symbol works. I could write 9 is greater than 6. The reason it's important to know that greater than faces this way is because this is how you read the problem. You say 9 is greater than 6. We don't say 9 is less than 6 because that's not true. So greater than will always be pointing the first number when that first number is greater than the second number. The second symbol here is our less than symbol. We use this to say things like 4 is less than 11. As you can see, it's true, 4, the number 4, is less than 11. If I have $4, that's less than $11. Notice how now the sign is open towards the greater number. The sign will always be open towards the greater number. And some people like to say the crocodile always is hungry and wants to eat the greater number. You can think of that, or you could just think that it's always going to be open towards the greater number. And the last sign that we have is a sign that you're very familiar with. It is the equal to symbol. So 5 is equal to 5. That means that if we have $5, if I have $5 and you have $5, we have an equal amount of money. That's something that's very common, and obviously you've worked with it before. It's important to know the, the direction in which the greater than and less than symbols face. So familiarize, familiarize yourselves with these two symbols because you'll be working with them a lot.